Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and I'm a huge indie makeup lover. So today's video, I am incredibly excited. I am going to be trying Indie Beat Cosmetics and I picked up the Audrey 2 collection. Now I'm not gonna lie, I picked this up I knew I was going to pick it up even before I'd seen the colour story, etc. Because Little Shop of Horrors was and is one of my favourite all-time films. I absolutely love it. So yes, of course. This had to be the first thing I tried from Indie Beat Cosmetics. So I'm going to first show you because I've left this this out of the box. Purely because it's kind of it's got an oil in it. Um, now this is a lip scrub and it's called plant food and I have tried this I've been using this a lot actually because it is so so good It's really well I used it before Coming on camera my lips just feel amazing. This is so nice I've been using this and then I've got a load of lip oils um the lip oils from Artitude Cosmetics I've been using after this and the mixture of the two just wow wow um but you also I have to say I was superbly superbly I was incredibly impressed at the amount that came in this it is literally full to the brim like literally and I've been using this um it's so nice so yes, I definitely can't get the lid on it. I definitely wanted to uh, give that a mention first. Is it just me that struggles with the lids? Anything that screws on, I always seem to get it lined up wrong. So yes, I definitely wanted to give this a mention first. So let's open this box up and show you what else came inside. Firstly, I do have to mention, just look at the design on the front of this box. And this is how it came. I'm not gonna turn the box over because obviously the shipping label's on the other side. You guys don't need to know where I live. Um, but yeah, this is what the box looks like. And then inside it is all well packed. I've taken all of the plastic packaging off. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is this little, brush set which I will definitely be using today and that way up so this comes with just a set of brushes a set of little brushes I can't speak love that it's green if you know me you know you know these feel super soft and yeah I haven't used them yet but definitely going to be today so we've got like a fluffier angle brush we've got a flat brush like a liner brush please excuse mr fluff this one is quite a soft fluffy flat stubby brush i'm really no good at explaining these things and a little lip brush so i will definitely be using those today testing those out this is so exciting and then we have let's get this out this here which is a set of lashes it says obviously indie beat cosmetics feed me with the plant <gasps> this is so cute the lashes are called feed me now, i'm super excited for these you're about to find out why they are green look at them how cute are those lashes oh they're gorgeous i cannot wait to get these on my eyes so cute um but yeah the packaging is just a star and then i'm not going to keep picking the box up <laughs> we have two lipsticks and the packaging on these is just beautiful and unique so you've got like the shiny gold and it says in Indie Beat Cosmetics on. This is the shade It's Supper Time. But it's got this kind of green faux leather. This super, what do you call it? Kind of bougie looking. Love it. 
and then this is it's supper time and it is this kind of brown let's swatch this on the back of my hand for you to see so it is this brown shade and the other lippy is called mean green and of course it is green which i'm super super excited for and then that is the shade there two lipsticks that i will 100 percent wear so yeah super excited love the packaging on these and yeah i think these these shades and then last but not least is the Skid Row palette. Oh, how beautiful is that packaging? I love it. And Audrey too. But yes, the, the name wants me, makes me want to sing the song. I'm not going to sing. I'm not going to talk to you guys in that way. I have no idea what Jason is trying to catch a fruit fly. As you do. Um, so it comes in a sleeve. Of course, I will be keeping hold of this sleeve. I'm making some kind of collage of cute sleeves of palettes. I'm getting around to it. So this beauty here, I'm just going to take out the plastic sheet because I do not keep them. And then this is the colour story absolutely gorgeous um i think i'm just gonna swatch them on the back of my hand um so i'm gonna swatch like from left to right top row then middle and then bottom so yes let's get swatching guys if i can work out where to put this down okay so the first shade is downtown am i going to be able to do this so that you guys can see i do hope so so that there is downtown just a, a nice neutrally matte and then we have skid row which is a shimmer i saw my hand in the frame i do believe so Ooh. oh okay that one's exciting me that is beautiful it's got like a orange to gold shift well all right then it's like a peachy orange i really love the look of that that is beautiful i'm loving the look of that then we have a matte and that is seymour a bit more it's kind of like a mustardy yellow matte mattes feel very nice and then we have another matte and this is called dentist this one does feel slightly drier but i think that's due to the shade so this is dentist loving the pigment on these so that is the top pro there love the names downtown so we've got downtown skid row see more and then dentist and then going into the second row we've got another map and this is called chiffon and ooh, look at the depth in that that is gorgeous so that's chiffon and then we have oh this map feels nice and buttery this is plant food not swatch that very well uh, this one feels really nice so that there is plant food and then we have another mat and this is feed me which is what i think mr fluff is trying to shout at me if only i could speak cats <sighs> usually it means feed me so there we go that's feed me i'm loving the look of these and then the last one on the second row is audrey and audrey is a shimmer 
Yes, Mr. Fluff, I think everyone knows you're there. That is this beautiful gold. Okay, so there's our first two rows. Yes, our Audrey. Now into the bottom row. This is called I Don't Know. This is a shimmer. And ooh, okay. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm not going to try and describe the shades I'm no good at that but I'm loving the look of that and the next shade is another shimmer and it's called grow for me and this is what she looks like this one is more of kind of a lighter creamy gold I don't know you can see for yourself so that is grow for me then we have the last of the mattes and it's called Dadu. And it is a nice deep, deep earth brown. Got some really nice pigment, these mattes. I'm, I'm definitely super excited to try these on my eyes. I am making a mess here. And then last but not least, we have Audrey 2. Um, which is going underneath the water tree. and this is a, another shimmer so there we have Audrey too beautiful these swatches have got me excited super excited okay so I'm gonna go and clean my hand off and pop on some eye primer and then I'll come back and we'll get started trying these products so just stay where you are okay so I have a palette here I'm gonna have to use a mixture of brushes I already have as well because if you know me you know that I use quite a few brushes I, I can't do the whole wiping them off and using the same ones it just doesn't work for me um so I am gonna make a start by going into feed me So, I'm going to pop Feed Me. Ooh, look at that. That green. On the inner part of my crease, or most of the way along on my crease. That shade is beautiful. And it is not patchy. Blending nicely. It's got some really nice pigment. I could really pack that on. But look at that. So just building it up in the crease there. I just want to get some solid pigment. That is a beautiful shade. Look at that. Well, all right then. Okay, now I'm going to take the first of the brushes that came with the set that I'm going to use and that's the kind of fluffy angled one and I'm going to go into chiffon Okay, so I'm going to take that right on this outer V here Oof. Well, all right then. Okay. Well, the brush feels really soft. It's quite well compacted, so it's definitely getting the pigment on there. Also, all right then. I'm used to using like longer brushes where I hold it at the end so I'm putting more pressure than I usually would possibly um, but I'm having no issues blending look at that okay that is a really nice shade I'm just going to try and blend it 
Yeah, just with this brush. I'm gonna get that pool. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna build it up right in the crease there. And then just blend that one out. Yeah, this is a really nice little brush. I do prefer the larger size brushes, but if I were to be going away, this would be a nice little set to to carry with. That looks really nice. So I think I'm next gonna go into Seymour. Or am I? Yeah, I am. Going into Seymour. And I'm going to use that to blend this green out. Blending out, feed me. That is looking so nice. Oof. I'm loving this. Look at that. I'm having no effort blending these mats, none whatsoever. I'm just taking a tiny bit at a time because I don't want to kind of pack that shade on there. That's Jace, if you can hear the sighing. He's admitting defeat, he's tired. That looks really nice. Yeah, these shades are just blending so easily, these mattes. I'm having no issues working with them at all. Okay, now I think I'm going to go into plant food. And I'm going to use that. Nearly went into the wrong shade there, Steph. I'm going to use that just to blend out the edges of the blue there these are blending beautifully apologies if you can hear drilling um there's workmen building a huge block of retirement homes across the road and it doesn't appear like they're gonna quieten down today okay this is this is gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh, that is looking beautiful. Okay. I'm going to quickly clean up here. And then we'll go in with the shimmers. Okay, so now we are cleaned up. What do I want to use? I think I'm going to go in with Audrey 2. And I'm going to use the flat brush that came with the sets. And as always, when I'm trying a new palette, I'm not using um, glitter primer. I'm not spraying the brush. I'm just going straight in with, ooh. Straight in with the shade. That is stunning. Ooh, okay. It's like a really, like, almost grungy green gold. That is so stunning. Look at that. Okay. I'm... I am loving this. They are more your kind of regular shimmer former, former, formula. I can't speak. More of your regular, regular shimmer formula. That was a really hard sentence. But they are absolutely gorgeous. 
that's beautiful i'm just going to quickly go into chiffon again the blue mat just to blend that into the edge of the shimmer a bit there i have got fallout but then i am not being careful at all now i think i'm gonna have to because i've used audrey too i really want to use audrey as well so i'm going to go into audrey for the inner part of my lid these are picking up really nicely on the brush Ooh. okay it is just like a a bit of a slightly brighter lighter brighter version of Audrey Audrey 2 even <laughs> I think that looks beautiful okay I'm not mad at that at all okay I'm gonna quickly go and clean up my face pop my base on and I will come back to do the lower lash line and the lipsticks with you so just stay where you are okay guys so I've got my base on I finished the top of my eyes I have the lashes on aren't they stunning oh my god I'm in love with these lashes um I'll let you know a few of the bits I popped on my face once we've finished here so let's go with the lower lash line what do I want to do so first up I'm going to take a bit of Dadu <laughs> love these names and I'm just going to use this tiny little pencil brush and I'm just going to take that literally just on this outer bit right up against the lash line just a tiny bit I don't want to bring any darkness downwards cute and then I'm going to take downtown this one here and I'm going to use this little kind of flat fluffy smudgy kind of brush that came in the set and I'm just going to take that just underneath to blend out the deeper brown there just a little bit that's cute and then i have been dying to use this so i'm going to use skid row and i'm going to pop that just on the inner part of my lower lash line just a little bit that is so cute look at that For my inner corner and brow bone highlight I'm going to go into grow for me I also use that as a face highlighter So I'm just going to pop that just right on that inner corner there. I love that. That looks so cute. I love it. And then just a little bit up and under my brow there. Okay. I'm loving how this is looking. Right. So let's grab these lip brushes. Okay, so I'm going to use the little the little lip brush that came with the set and I'm going to first go in with Supper Time, the brown lippy.
And then I'm going to take a lip brush from Lowe's Cosmetics and go into Mean Green. And I'm just going to use that to fill just the middle there. just like that there okay so this is the finished look i am obsessed i'll let you know a few of the bits the other bits that i popped on my face then we'll have a quick chat about my first thoughts using indie beat cosmetics um if i haven't given that away enough already okay so for the winged liner i use the be perfect inked liquid lila liquid eyeliner <laughs> I really like this I use that in black I only have the black one and then in my waterline I've used this Colourpop cream gel liner I think it's called Wildcat but all of the writing is rubbed off um, but I thought it was the perfect color to go with this look um, for blush I went into the blend bunny cosmetics bare cheeks palette this was a gift from my beautiful friend Jeanette I love this and I used making me blush which I thought was, again, the perfect shade for highlighter. As I say, went into the palette and used Grow For Me. And I am obsessed. Okay, so let's go through, we'll talk about the palette last. So this little lip scrub, I know I said in the beginning, I absolutely love this. It is so nice and I love that it's just full to the brim. Um, but yeah, it makes my lips feel really soft. It's beautiful. Um, the lashes. Oh my God, guys, seriously. The packaging is just a star. I love it. But the lashes themselves, I think, are my new favourite lashes. They're green and they're beautiful and they're really comfortable. The lippies, obviously I used both, you just saw that, um, with the, the lip brushes and I think for this look, this kind of ombre, I don't know, I'm just thinking grow for me, plants, I like it, I like it. I love how they perform, they're really comfortable, they don't feel drying or anything. I don't know how long they last, so that I will have to get back to you on, but very first impressions loving them okay ah brushes the brush set <laughs> crikey i think there's only, the only one i didn't use was the little angled one but every other brush that i used i think they perform beautifully they're really soft and they're perfect for taking away like if you were to go anywhere not that i really go any places but they're really cute they're really soft I really enjoyed those so the palette itself the skid row oh my god guys the packaging we're just going to talk about the packaging first because if you watched Little Shop of Horrors growing up or even if you've just watched it as an adult or as a youngster now as a classic film if you love it like I do, you will appreciate how amazing this packaging is. It is so cute and it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, the colour story is super cute. It's grungy, definitely on theme. I love it. Um, I think this colour story is perfect for the theme. I love the look I've done with it. I am obsessed. The mattes performed really beautifully. They blended out really, really beautifully. They're super pigmented. The shimmers are more of your classic shimmer formula, but they look stunning, as you can see. This shade in particular, Skid Row, is outstanding. I love this shade so much. Yeah. I, I have nothing but great things to say the only sadness is you can't get this now 
because it was a limited edition collection. I don't know if they're going to be bringing it back. I hope so, because it would be such a shame if more people couldn't collect this, use this, etc. Um, but this collection is absolutely gorgeous, right down to, let me close the box, right down to the box that it came in. And this was the the outer box, like in the post. So when this arrived at my door, I instantly knew what it was. So excitement overload. I'm obviously gonna keep hold of this because it's so cute and it's Audrey too. I love it. Um, so yeah, guys, I cannot wait to try more from Indie Beat Cosmetics. I most definitely will be. Um, yeah, I'm I'm sold. I cannot wait to try more from them. I know they have recently released a Goblin King collection, which obviously labyrinth themed. So yeah, super excited to see what else they come out with. Love everything I've used. So yeah, guys, super win. I will link their website in the description box below if you want to go and check them out. I have had a look at the Goblin King collection it looks beautiful so yeah guys if this is your kind of thing theming go check them out they do the colored foundation bases like all the different bright colors so for like cosplay etc and they look awesome i've heard nothing but really good things about them so yeah if you want to check them out websites linked in the description box below along with well listed is everything that I have popped on my face for if you want to know anything that I haven't mentioned so far. So yeah guys, that is about it for me for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. I had so much fun. If you're new around here and you love to see more indie brands being used, that's where my heart lies, and you've enjoyed today, then please do consider subscribing. I would totally appreciate you. Just thank you. For taking the time out of your day to spend with me I love you I appreciate you thank you I hope you're having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing I hope you're taking care of yourselves I will see you again very very soon <laughs> goodbye yeah. stepping in the spa like she own it looking like the world is your runway she can set it off like a gun play oh my yeah talk of the city with the body Getting praised like it's Sunday She said, baby, what you gonna do about it?